Good day, everybody. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from NeoWeather.com with your forecast for Wednesday, January 9, 2013. The mainly cloudy day with some rain showers during the day. We'll break down when to expect those showers and where you may see them. We have some warm temperatures in store as well. We'll let you know how warm it could get. And we have plenty of rain on the way in the extended forecast. Get all the details on that and more starting right now. Taking a look at the NeoWeather 3D Max Doppler Network this morning, well, we do have some activity out here, mainly in the form of yep, rain. And uh, it's moving through a little bit earlier than we expected, and it actually got a little bit further north than we expected, too. I was generally expecting along and south of the turnpike this morning, and, well, it's going to make it a little bit further north than that. Uh, the good news is it's fairly scattered. It is still possible. A couple places may dodge the rain showers. It's not very likely, but it is possible. Um, rain pretty much runs from just west of Cleveland down uh, to just west of I-71 right here. And then it's really not a big line. As you get to Sandusky, it's ending. So this will actually push through fairly quickly off to the east. And it'll bring light to occasionally moderate rain showers as it moves through. And that's going to be about it. Now, there are some scattered showers or sprinkles out ahead of it. It's not really much of a big deal. You'll get a passing sprinkle, and that'll be it. Uh, if we zoom on out just a little bit, you can see something really good with the cloud cover. Yeah, there's this uh, front coming through. It's not very strong or anything, but behind it, it's clear. And so we don't have a lot of cloud cover behind us either. It's moving at a pretty decent pace this morning. So I think uh, after lunchtime, uh, we'll start seeing skies clear out west to east across the area. So it'll actually clear out a little bit earlier than when... Uh, we were expecting as well. So kind of some good news there in a way we'll actually be able to see some shun, uh, sunshine excuse me, before the, it actually sets this evening. Uh, temperatures across the area this morning were generally in the uh, low 40s in Cleveland, uh, 41 Ravenna, we're at 38 Akron and Canton, 37 Worcester, 43 Mansfield, 37 in Youngstown and 35 over at Ashtabula. So you'll see temperatures warm up a little bit right behind the rain and that will pretty much be our high for the day. We're about there right now. Uh, we'll only see maybe a couple of degrees in downtown Cleveland, maybe a few degrees more down in Akron and Canton. Uh, across the rest of the country this morning, well, the East Coast is uh, cool but quiet this morning, so if you're going to be flying out that way, you'll be pretty good there. The southeast isn't too bad. The Florida's nice and warm. Plenty of rain, though, across uh, Dixie and across uh, Texas as well. Texas, boy, they really need the rain. They really don't need it this heavy all at once, but uh, they still got some pretty severe drought conditions there. Uh, as you move up into the central plain, the clouds clear out, temperatures cool down. You're down into the uh, 20s across the central plains and into the teens in the northern plains. But it's pretty quiet out this way right now, except for the cold air. A lot of that could change here coming next week. Be sure to stay tuned for the seven-day forecast coming up in just a couple of minutes. Taking a look at the almanac for today, the high yesterday was 41, the low was 28, our average high is 34, the average low 22, our record high is 66, our record low is minus 13. No precipitation for yesterday, we still stand at a uh, trace for the month and the year. Sunrise is at 7.53 a.m. and sunset at 5.16 p.m. All right, taking a look at the forecast for today, we have increasing clouds through the morning with a chance of showers generally between about 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. After that, they will die off. Not, again, not everybody's going to see the rain showers. will be scattered. Best chance south of Interstate 80. Our high will be uh, 42. Winds will be out of the southwest at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. We start your morning off with increasing clouds around 30 degrees. We're up to 36 by 11 a.m. Again, a chance of showers. Much the same for 2 p.m. and 41, and those clouds will begin to decrease by 5 p.m. The rain showers will end, will be right around 38 degrees. Overnight tonight, we'll see temperatures uh, fall through the 30s, and eventually into the middle 20s, the low around 25, and a light southwest wind. Clouds will begin to decrease after about 7 p.m., and by daybreak Thursday morning, we'll be looking at mainly clear skies, and uh, should see a decent bit of sunshine, at least for the morning hours. However, as we take a look at seven day, clouds increase through the day on Thursday. We will see some sun. The best chance, of course, will be before noon. Clouds will then otherwise increase. Our high will be 40. Showers move in Thursday night and into Friday. Good bit of rain through uh, there. We'll actually warm up through the day Friday to near 50. This is in association with a warm front. It's going to be very, very warm air moving through. 
for Saturday. We're even a little bit warmer, 55, as uh, we have partly cloudy skies across the area. Thanks to a uh, brief ridge of high pressure, it's going to be able to move in. It won't last very long, though. As we move into Sunday, we'll be at uh, the upper 40s early across the area, and temperatures begin to dive as the uh, first cold front moves through the region with plenty of rain with it. And yeah, rain pretty much hangs around for uh, the rest of the week. Uh, Monday, more rain right around 38. We'll get a little bit of a break Monday night in there as uh, we transition from one system of rain to another one on Tuesday. And it looks like it's going to rain through about Wednesday. Finally, we'll clear out and another uh, front will swing through. So we have another cold front that's going to allow some really cold air possibly to move into the uh, Great Lakes by uh, next weekend. So be sure to stay tuned with Neo Weather for the very latest. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer. Thank you for watching. Stay up to date with the latest weather at NeoWeather.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. NeoWeather.com, Ohio's home for weather.